Life is a mirror. It reflects exactly what's happening inside you. Now, I know that sounds a bit deep, but stick with me for a moment, because the more you understand this, the more you'll see how it applies to everything around you. What do I mean by life is a mirror? Let me explain it like this. Every single thing in your life, the people you meet, the opportunities you get, the challenges you face, are all reflections of your inner beliefs, your mindset, your thoughts, your emotions. These are the things that shape what you see in the world. And here's the kicker. What you see in the world is a direct reflection of what's going on inside you. It's easy to blame the outside world for everything. Our job, our circumstances, the economy, these are the usual scapegoats, right? But here's the truth. Your reality is not random. The things you're experiencing aren't by accident. They're a reflection of your beliefs and perceptions about yourself and the world around you. How does the mirror principle work? The mirror principle, the mirror principle is deceptively simple. It's all about perception. The way you see yourself, the way you perceive the world, is the lens through which you experience life. And that lens is powerful. Imagine this for a second. If you see yourself as someone who isn't good enough or worthy of success, guess what happens? The world reflects that belief right back at you. You'll keep attracting experiences that confirm your doubts. Opportunities might slip away, relationships might feel shallow, or you might find yourself stuck in a cycle of failure. But when you change the way you see yourself, when you start believing you are worthy of success, love, and happiness, something incredible happens. The world begins to mirror that new belief. Suddenly, new opportunities show up. People start treating you differently. You be begin to find yourself in situations that reflect the value you've placed on yourself. This is the mirror principle at work. It's the power of changing your internal dialogue to reflect what you want to see in the world. And the good news, you have the ability to control this. Shaft changing your inner world to shape your reality. The key to unlocking the mirror principle is realizing that everything starts from within. If you want to change your external world, you need to first change what's happening inside of you. Let's take a very practical example. Think about someone who feels stuck in their life, maybe in their career or personal relationships. They might say things like, I'll never get ahead or things will never change for me. Those thoughts, those beliefs are powerful, whether they're positive or negative, and they shape what you experience. Now let's flip that. What if instead that person started believing, I am capable of success, I am worthy of happiness, I can overcome obstacles? What happens then? The world starts reflecting those beliefs back to them. Opportunities that were once invisible now seem to pop up everywhere. People start offering help, support, and collaboration. And little by little, the world begins to align with their new way of thinking. This isn't magic, it's perception. The way you see yourself is how the world sees you. The power of perception, ancient wisdom meets modern psychology. The idea that our perception shapes our reality isn't new. In fact, it's been around for centuries. Socrates, one of the most famous philosophers of all time, said something that's deeply relevant to the mirror principle. Know thyself. He wasn't just talking about your name or where you come from. He was talking about understanding your inner beliefs, your assumptions, your mindset. When you know yourself, when you understand how your beliefs shape your view of the world, you can start to shift that worldview to create the life you desire. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, put it another way, what happens to us is not as important as how we react to it. This statement is a perfect example of the mirror principle in action. The external circumstances of life don't define you. It's how you perceive those circumstances and how you choose to react to them that shapes your reality. Think about it. Two people can face the exact same challenge, say a job loss, and have completely different reactions. One might see it as the end of the world, a sign that they're a failure, but the other might see it as an opportunity to pursue something better. The reality is the same, but the perception of that reality determines the outcome. This mindset shift is powerful. It's not just about seeing life in a positive light. It's about choosing your response to what happens. Your inner world sets the tone for your reactions, and your reactions shape the reality that follows. 
the four pillars of the mirror principle. Now that you understand the basics of the mirror principle, let's get into how you can actually use it to transform your life. There are four key areas to focus on. One, changing your self-image. Your self-image is like the lens through which you see yourself. If you see yourself as weak, unworthy, or incapable, that's how the world will perceive you. The world mirrors that image back. But when you start to see yourself as strong, confident, and capable, your reality shifts. You begin to attract situations and people who reflect that belief. The key is to understand that your self-image is not fixed. It's shaped by your thoughts, experiences, and the stories you tell yourself. These stories can be rewritten. You can choose to redefine who you are. If you've been seeing yourself as someone who isn't good enough, start seeing yourself as someone who is. Begin to affirm your strengths. Remind yourself of past successes, no matter how small. Over time, this will become your new self-image and the world will reflect it back. Start by asking yourself, how do I see myself? What kind of person do I think I am? What are my strengths and weaknesses? Once you have a clear picture of your self-image, it's time to start shifting it. You can't change what you don't acknowledge. It all begins with awareness. Here's a thought experiment. Imagine looking at yourself in the mirror. What do you see? If your reflection tells you, I'm not good enough, you'll find evidence of that everywhere. But if it says, I am enough, your reality shifts to align with that belief. Two, harnessing the power of positive self-talk. Our thoughts are powerful. The words we say to ourselves shape our reality. When you speak negatively about yourself, you're reinforcing the belief that you're not good enough, that you're destined to fail. But when you speak positively, when you encourage yourself, you begin to shift your mindset towards success. Start listening to your inner dialogue. What are you telling yourself? Are you being kind and encouraging, or are you your own harshest critic? If you're constantly telling yourself, I'm not good enough, the world will reflect that belief. But if you begin to say, I am enough, your external reality will begin to mirror that belief. Self-talk is a tool that can either empower you or keep you stuck. Choose your words carefully. The language you use shapes the way you view yourself and the world around you. Let's look at a real world example. Take athletes, for instance. They often engage in positive self-talk before competitions. I am strong, I am capable, I will succeed. Their success isn't just about their physical ability, it's about their mindset. If they think they will fail, they probably will. But if they believe in their ability, the world reflects that belief. Positive self-talk isn't just wishful thinking, it's a powerful tool for changing the way you show up in the world. Three, visualization. See it to be it. One of the most powerful tools for manifesting change is visualization. This is more than just daydreaming. It's about creating a vivid, detailed picture of the life you want to live. When you visualize your success, you're literally reprogramming your mind to expect success. You're aligning your thoughts with your desired outcomes. The more detailed and vivid your visualization, the more you create a mental roadmap for achieving your goals. Spend time every day visualizing your dreams. See yourself achieving your goals. Feel the emotions associated with that success. Picture yourself living the life you desire. When you see it clearly in your mind, the world will begin to reflect that vision back to you. You've probably heard of athletes who visualize their performance before a game. Basketball players envision themselves making every shot. Tennis players see themselves winning every point. The mental rehearsal prepares them for success. Visualization isn't just about seeing what you want. It's about feeling it, living it, and preparing your mind to bring it into reality. Trust four, taking action. Align your inner world with your outer actions. The mirror principle isn't just about thinking positive thoughts and hoping things change. It's about aligning your thoughts, beliefs, and actions. When you change your inner world, you need to back it up with external action. The world will not reflect your desires unless you take consistent action toward them. It's not enough to just believe you deserve success. You need to put in the work to achieve it. Your actions must align with your new self-image. If you believe you are worthy of success but don't take steps toward your goals, the universe won't have a way to mirror that belief back to you. Start by taking small actions every day. 
even if they're just tiny steps, they matter. Every small action is like sending a signal to the universe that you are serious. You are showing up for your dreams and the world will begin to show up for you. Remember, the mirror principle is not a one-time fix. It's an ongoing process of shifting your mindset, beliefs, and actions. The world reflects back what you put into it. When you change your inner world, your outer world will follow. The key is to keep practicing, keep shifting your perception, keep affirming your worth, keep visualizing your success, and keep taking action. Over time, you will see that the world around you is transforming, reflecting your inner world. Look in the mirror. What do you see? It's time to make that reflection a powerful one. You have the power to create the reality you want, starting from within.